U.S. is preparing Australia for war against China. U.S. big boost to Australia, after deploying F-22 Raptors, B-2 bombers, Pentagon begins massive defense project in N territory. Australia's ties with China have spiraled ever since Prime Minister Scott Morrison accused Beijing of manufacturing the coronavirus pandemic and demanded an impartial investigation. However, in the larger geopolitical scheme of things, Australia's strategic objective to wield influence among the Pacific Island countries comes in conflict with China's ambitious march towards the Pacific. On the other hand, the American policy of containing China makes Australia, a very strategically located state leading to an exponential enhancement in cooperation between the two countries. In a fresh development, work on a massive U.S. fuel storage station in the Northern Territory of Australia is poised to begin to support military activities in the Asia-Pacific region. The $270 million project will be the largest purpose-built fuel storage facility in Northern Australia, with a capacity of 300 million litres. The facility will be erected at East Arm, some 8 kilometres outside the city on Darwin Harbour, and will house 11 tanks of military-grade fighter jet fuel. The territory is becoming a leading hub for defense and national security because of our strategic location and capabilities, Chief Minister of Northern Territory, Michael Gunner, said on January 18. This new facility is in addition to two fuel storage tanks recently built at the Royal Air Force Base in Darwin. The construction comes in the backdrop of rising tensions between the United States and China. The decision to reactivate a Marine Corps command in Guam, also an island in the Pacific, and a nuclear-powered submarine making port calls to its base in Guam followed by the setting up of a large fuel storage facility in Australia could mean that the United States is making concerted efforts to fortify its defenses in the Pacific. Crowley will offer military forces with energy logistics management and services, including receiving, storing, protecting, and shipping aviation-grade JP-5 turbine fuel and commercial-grade Jet A-1 fuel, according to NT Independent.